My name's Louise Rosen. I graduated from the journalism school in 1999, and I'm currently the Deputy Vice President for Alumni Relations here at Columbia. I went to the Graduate School of Journalism, so I had the pleasure of being um, mostly out um, and about in the city the whole time I was here, but when I did have to go to class, um, I was here at the J School on the Morningside campus. Journalism students are famously notorious for being everywhere but on campus because we've got to go and get our stories. Um, I teach for the MPA in Environmental Science and Policy at SEPA. Um, and I teach the workshop in environmental science and policy. I have been um, a part of SEPA and working with the MPA program since um, I first came on board here as an employee at Columbia where I helped to incubate the program at the Earth Institute. I have many Columbia stories. I refer to myself as coming from a bluish family. Um, I had the pleasure of learning about Columbia from my grandfather who had studied here who would show me pictures of the steps at low and told me about the Graduate School of Journalism. And I promised him that if I went to graduate school, I'd go there. Um, well, so um, he was hugely important to me, but um, it was really the people I met along the way who have continued to be a part of my life. Um, the first person who was my Columbia connection when I got to New York after I'd been admitted to the Graduate School of Journalism was a gentleman who was an editor at GQ. And I went and interviewed with him for a job um, that I would be doing before starting and enrolling in graduate school. And he too was an alum of the J School. And he looked at me and he said, you can do this job and I'm not giving it to you. And I looked at him and I said, why? And he said, because you're going to do this job, you're going to do it really well, and then you're going to want to stay. And you're going to miss what will be one of the most important years of your life, where you get to go to graduate school and you get to screw up. And um, never again will you get that choice. And he was right, because I got to stretch my muscles when I was there in ways that I never would have been able to otherwise. I went from being somebody who wrote satire and had been a fashion editor to somebody who fell in love with news. Um, and news in all its varieties and all its forms and realizing that, um, that my talent was in storytelling and, and, and in being able to hear people's truth and to be able to reflect that in the written word. And I think that that was hugely important. And if I hadn't have had that opportunity, thanks to Merv, I wouldn't be sitting here right now.